to make this design i'm going to draft a pattern for a straight gown all right i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft pattern for a straight gown i'll leave that in the description box below but i'm going to do a very quick one for this tutorial all right guys so the first thing we are going to be looking at is the neck measurement for this gown i'm going to mark a neck width of four inches you can use 3.5 or three if you want but i'm going to be using four inches for this one so this is our four inches mark the neck width is four inches i want the neck depth to be 4.5 I use these clips because I want to use them as my pattern weight. It helps to keep my pattern on the table. All right. So I know some of you might be wondering why I used that. So this is our neck our shoulder is 15 inches 15 inches by 2 is 7.5 these are 7.5 mark so to get our armhole line i'm going to divide the bust measurement by 6 which is 7.166 plus 1 1.5 which is going to give us 8.6 so this is our 8.6 this is going to be our armhole line all right our bust measurement is 43 43 divided by 4 is going to give us 10.75 so i'm going to mark 10.75 right here i'll take this is our bust line from this shoulder line to this line is our bust line from this line to this one is our waist line then from this line to this one is our hip line from this line to this line is our full length i got our bust line by measuring our shoulder to our nipple from this shoulder to this point is 11.5 so this is our bust measurement which is 10.7 i'm going to extend it to our bust line which is here 10.7 inches now I'll draw a straight line so the waist measurement is 40 40 by 4 is going to give us 10 this is our 10 inches here no need to put any allowance for the darts so i'm not going to be fixing allowance for the darts so I'll, I'll connect from this point to this point from the waistline to the hip line is 8 inches so the hip measurement is 43 43 by 4 is going to give us 10.75 or 10.8 approximately so I'm going to connect from that point then this is our full measurement this our hip measurement is 10.8 or so I'm going to take it down to this point this is our 10 point eight mark right here but because i want this to have a pencil shape i'm going to come in by one inch so i'm going to minus one inch from 10.8 which is going to give us 9.8 this is what we have so from this point i'm going to draw a straight line to here
for the shoulder i'm going to slant the shoulder by one inch when i come to this angle here i'm going to come up by one inch all right then i'll get the midpoint of this so this is the midpoint so from that point i'm going to connect it so this is what we have i'm not going to do anything about the inner armhole for the front because we're not going to be attaching an extra sleeve to this all right now that we have this i'm going to extend the shoulder line by five inches my bicep which is my sleeve round is 12 inches so i'm going to extend it by two which is going to give us eight inches i'm going to add extra two inches to the waist So from the this bicep, I'm going to connect it to the waist. All right. Then coming over to the hip, I'll add an extra two inches to. Then coming down to this point, I'm going to come up by three inches from the hem i'm going to come up by three inches so this curve i'm going to take this curve down to this place so So I hope this makes sense at this point. I even think the shoulder slant is too much for this so that I'll have enough room together. Let me make the shoulder slant one inch from this point. So All right, now that we have our bodies pattern, I'm going to add the seam allowance for this dress. One inch seam allowance is okay, half inch is okay, but this dress is actually for a pregnant woman. So I'm going to be adding like 1.5 inch seam allowance. This 1.5 is going to increase the length of the sleeve, which is not bad, by the way. All right, so. So the allowance for the hem is going to be one inch. 
a pregnant woman doesn't grow taller but the person actually grows fatter all right guys now that we have this i'm going to go ahead and cut So guys this is what we have this pattern or this dress is not going to this pattern is not going to have front and back so i'm going to use this particular pattern to cut out both the front and the back because there is nothing special that i'm going to be adding to the back i'm not going to be adding zipper at the back or slit at the back all right so i'm just going to go ahead and place this on my fabric and then i'll cut out everything and if you're not going to be adding a slit at the back, then the gown shouldn't be below your knee. It should be on your knee or slightly above your knee. All right, the pattern has been placed on the fabric that I'm going to be using for this dress. This fabric is two yards by 45. So if you have two yards of fabric in your house, you can use that. So let me go ahead and cut. This one is going to be the front. I'll use this same pattern to cut the back and then I'll show you how to make the band. So this is the back. At the end of the day, I decided to add one inch allowance at the back. So what this simply means is that in future I can decide to put a zipper and I'll have the space to do that. And if I decide to put a slit you know give this a slit i'll still have space to do that let me cut the band of this dress so i'm going to fold my pattern paper into two all right my bicep is 12 that is my sleeve round is 12 12 divided by two is going to give us six all right but i made this one nine what this simply means is that i added like three inches to six which made it nine so and i'm going to gather here a little around the sleeve i'm going to gather it a little so my bicep is six i'm going to make it seven then the height i'm going to make it one and a half one inch is going to be the actual band measurement and then half inch is going to be for my seam i'll gather here a little so that when I fix this, it will enter properly. So once I get this, I'm going to fold it into two again. Place this and cut.
I'll go back to the machine and I'll stitch this one inch. All right, I'll stitch this. The joining is the easiest part of this project. I'm going to place the right side of the back against the right side of the front. I'll go over to my machine. I'll stitch here to this point. Then I'll stitch here all the way down. I'll do the same thing here. Then I'll stitch here all the way down. For this sleeve opening, I'm going to put some gathers here. And then I'm going to stitch here on a half inch mark. Then remember the allowance that I gave for the side is 1.5. So I'm going to stitch the side on a 1.5 inch mark. Then for the neck, I have a detailed tutorial on how to finish your neckline. I'm going to do a piping for the neck. I'll leave the link to that tutorial in the description box below so you can just watch and you know choose whichever way you want to finish your neck and then for this side too i'll just fold it one inch inside and then this dress is ready when i come back i'll show you how to fix the band to the sleeve opening and then we are done i've joined the sides all right this is the line at the back so I'm going to go ahead and fold here I'll fold this part then I'll run a facing here either I use the facing or I can pipe this side This is the band. I'll go ahead and open this, iron this down. Then I'll fold it this way and iron it down too. That has been done. So what I'm going to do, I already run some stitches, loose stitches here to form some gathers so what i'm going to do is to draw this a little all right just to make sure it fits into this sleeve proper this is actually optional you can decide to just hem this and you're good to go. If you have a fraying fabric, you need to overlock it entirely. This is how to fix this band to the sleeve proper. I'm going to take the right side of the band and fix against the right side of the dress proper okay the sleeve opening is still bigger than the band so I'm going to draw this some more to make the sleeve opening smaller so when you're sure that your sleeve opening is the same with your band you go ahead and stitch this. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this on a half inch mark. I'll stitch this until I go round. All right, give this a try and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the links that I'm going to put in the description. It's going to help you know how to arrange your neckline. And then, you know, some more things. So when you're done, 
go ahead and iron your dress and you're good to go don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done that already until next time keep crushing and i'll catch you in my next video bye